Okay, everybody, it's Tactical Thursday, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's Tactical Thursday Shop Talk, and this is my second tape because I, yep, I sure did. I went way over. I looked up, it was 15 minutes. I said, I'm not going to make these guys sit there and watch this for 15 minutes. What I did for Tactical Thursday when I came home, I meant to do this earlier. I'm just now getting started in the afternoon, but when I got home, I was exhausted from this week of the Nor'eastern cleanup. And a nor'easter's coming next week, so I'll be ready for that. But let's get on to this so I'll go 15 more minutes. I decided today, I always told y'all I like the black for tactical black, uh, blackout, uh, easy to carry, easy to conceal, easy to use, get to, whatever. That's tactical. But you can call it desert tan, coyote tan, FD, whatever we're going to do. FD, whatever, dark earth. I'm just going to stick, let's stick with the coyote. That's an easier word for me today. So I reached in my drawer and I just started pulling out uh, Coyote Desert Tan Colored Blades. And I think it's very tactical. And I also realized I have a really large off-grid knife collection. I really do. And my off-grid knives are when they first came out. They've improved. It's one of the best brands I have. I just love them. Every one of them are sharp. I have, my hard use on my knives is at work. I've used the heck out of them at work and they hold up, they're fantastic knives. So let me get to the off grids real quick. I got folders here and I got fixed blades here. And I'm gonna do the off grids first. In fact, I left some in there. Yeah, this is the very first off grid knife I bought. This is the off grid Badger, nice flipping action. Okay, it's got the leaf spring lock. So it's in the fixed position. G10 scales, deep pocket carry. That's the off-grid Badger. Fantastic knife. Okay, here is the, this is, I got this one second. They, now they make this in Coyote Tan, but this is gray. And this, my friends, is one of the most popular knives at off-grid sales. This is the Baby Rhino, look at that. I carry this a lot in my left pocket. A lot, especially on weekends. I don't use the pocket clip. It is deep, per deep pocket carry. I drop it down deep in the pocket, and it's there. And this thing is razor sharp and very usable and doable, even at that size. But I did see they had the baby rhino. I think it was around fifty bucks. Makes me want to get it, but I'm good with that. So that's the only uh, non-tan color I got out here. I just it was there. Okay, then here is the rapid fire off grid. This is a big boy, deep pocket carry, G10 scales. Their scales have great grip. That's spring assisted right there, folks. Thus rapid fire, that's the name of it. Very tactical, nice jipping. That's a thick boy. This is a big boy right here. Yes, sir, rapid fire. Okay, let's see what else I got. Here is their, uh, Let's stick with folders, okay? Here's my uh, SOG uh, Kiku XR. This is the natural linen micarta. I think that's kind of tactical looking, even though it's not, I got the blackout one, you know? But I, I just pulled out the colors, these, these desert colors, these tans. This kind of has a, yeah, that's just a natural, really nice. This one, I just one of my favorite knives the saw came out with. And I was very fortunate to be able to grab different colors. They make them in G10 scales too. But I like the, that's a liniment micarta. Here is the Cobra Tech. This is the Streamline. Check that out, D2 Steel. Oh, oh by the way, all these are D2 Steel, except uh, the, uh, the uh, Kiku is the Cryo XHP. Okay, so far everything is D2 steel. Uh, it's funny, I was looking at Cobra Tech last night. They came out with a new knife. They're coming out with a bunch of new knives. I love them. Man, they're fantastic knives. They're out of Texas. And the very first one I bought from them was that out the front. And uh, it's, it's one of the best out the front knives I've ever owned. It will outdo. It's $99. And I will put that up against my $300 one. $400 one. Yep. That's the streamline. This is the tan. 
Cobra Tech. Okay. Now we, we got to go with the uh this is the K bar mule. What a beast of a folding knife. This is a folder, thumb stud opening, lock back. It's got rubberized little things there happening on a G10 scale. This is partial serrated. This is Taiwan. Look, I got medium hands, look how big that is. You can tell, can you tell I've used that a lot? I've used all these at work. Now this, this was down at the bottom. I forgot it came with a nice pouch if you want to carry it that way. Isn't that cool? You could do it uh, Scout Carry or Molly Compatible. It's Velcro. This is the Mule. This is a heavy duty one. I might even throw this today. Use the heck out of it. This is the K-Bar Mule, and that is out of Taiwan. Yeah, I love that. I'm going to leave that open. I might throw that. Here is the, this one threw me off because Off Grid makes their, their own drop loops. Remember, Off Grid is the drop loops. I buy extra ones on Amazon. I use them on different brands. But I looked at this one, and it's funny. Uh, this either came with a tech lock or its own drop loop, and I must have used it on another knife. And then I reconsidered it, and I went, and I recognized these screws right here. I took this off another cold steel. There are several cold steel knives I bought just for throwing, not to carry or anything. And I'm using their drop loops. Look how well that fits. Isn't that perfect? I'm using their drop loops on several brands, and it's working out fine. But yeah, this is the uh, backcountry. This is a big boy right there, jipping on the scales. Very sharp. Off grid. It's one of the best brands I own, and every one of them is very sharp. Okay, I'm quickly going to get into. Do y'all remember the true? Uh, true knife I bought where you can uh, change out the uh, blade, razor blades, or even a little saw. I bought it at Ace Hardware. Do you remember I bought the true fixed blade knife? This was very inexpensive. It's a rubber handle. And I bought this to throw. But I was so surprised when I got it how nice the sheath is. Now you could turn this around, switch it for left or right side. And it's Molly compatible, and uh, it's it's thin profile. It's light, but I really like it. I really like it. Fantastic sheath, very budget friendly. I have to show this because we just I just showed them. This is the Glock 81. This is the the tan. This is the uh, uh, flat dark earth. That's what I could be calling this too. I mean, I got a sharp edge on that. That's where uh, it got nicked. Huh. Yep, I got, I, that's when I was nicking them. Remember I was throwing them and uh, they were just like right up against each other. And I said, that one nicked, that's it. Okay, that's the Glock 81, highly recommend. And then of course, this is one of the best ones out there. This is the Gerber strong arm. I've used the heck out of this at work. You can see that I've thrown the heck out of it. I got the serrate, partial serrations, rubberized handle. This went through a couple of storms. I used it because of that grip. It was great in the wet weather. And I took it, I used it at work quite a bit, but I had to do away with it because the only thing I didn't like was uh, the sheath. It's just, uh, it's a little bit too flimsy. As far as uh, a molly setup, uh, leg setup, you know, you could drop this on down real low and do a leg carry. It's got all these nice options. It's just, uh, it didn't work for me at work. You know what I mean? And I think that's it. I brought this out here. You ever just grab a knife that you love, like my $4.99 and just hold on to it? Uh, this is my K bar. This is the U.S. Army. And when I got this, I bought uh, I bought the K bar sheath. They fit these blades. They uh, they have a seven and a half inch blade sheath. Yeah, 
that fits all their K bars, U.S. Army, Marines, whatever. Uh, so I bought it, but then I went back to the leather. I'm really loving leather sheaths. I wish there was more leather sheaths out there. I think I brought this out here just to condition. I might even throw it. I don't know. So I think that's got that covered. Uh, Y'all know what I carried today. It was my Seal FX, partial serrated, my card of scales, and my Vision XR SOG. These are both SOGs. That was my carry. It's tactical. This is all tactical Thursday, everybody. I got to decide what I'm going to throw and what I'm going to do next. I want to do a short on one of these. It's been a while. And I made it under 15 minutes this time. Let's stick with it. Y'all take care and uh, sog out.